Hey there, welcome back to True North Reviews. My name is Ryan, and today we are discussing the latest record from Yellow Wolf, Ghetto Cowboy. This is the sixth studio album and second to be released in 2019 from the southern hip-hop artist Yellow Wolf, aka Michael Wayne Atha. A once Eminem protege back in the day when he was signed to Shady Records, he has now moved on. He has his own record label at this point, Slamerican, which has taken precedence for the first time on Ghetto Cowboy. Now just for a bit of context, for me to be entertained by a Yellow Wolf record, I think that Michael has to strike gold with bitter flows and steer clear from singing as much as possible, or at least find a song that is in his vocal wheelhouse, which is pretty limited in range. I think his singing and rapping skills were put to the peak with the artistic achievement of his 2015 Slamerican and Shady Records release, Love Story. And as I think back to the review I did of Yellow Wolf's final album under the Shady Records label, Trunk Music 3, I certainly didn't enjoy it for the singing aspect, and that stands true to this day. I just feel like he was pushed out of his comfort zone with that album for something that should bring him comfort by the third installment of a series. And that may be surprising to some because Trunk Music 3 is a release that's part of a fan favorite series of Trunk Music mixtapes. But the more I analyze Trunk Music 3, it really does fall apart as an album. And yeah, it's not even a release that was classified as a mixtape like its two predecessors. Regardless, it still managed to attain a score of indifference from me and it had some catchy songs that I still continue to play. Addiction is one of my favorite songs on Trunk Music 3. It points towards this electronic influence of guitars that we have explored here on Ghetto Cat. Cowboy. Now that exploration into uncharted waters for Yellow Wolf is best displayed on track 2 with Unnatural Born Killer. Uh, we have some rat-a-tat guitar tones, uh, interesting blends of electronic and southern rap. Really, a handful of cuts on this project exemplify that. I think of songs like Country Rich, Box Chevy 7, others as well. Um, but the thing that I love about Unnatural Born Killer is how it has this great synthesized bass line to it, and we have Yellow Wolf sounding as invigorated as he has been in the past few years. Speaking about the energy levels of Yellow Wolf, I feel like he's re-energized himself here. He's revitalized. Here I Am is definitely a song I look to for cold and nasty flows from Yellow Wolf. He sounds very reminiscent of how he was in the zone on Love Story and not like that god-awful singing that we got on the song special kind of bad with Trunk Music 3. There's just something about this track, Here I Am. I, I love the versatility between the singing and rap switches. Uh, they just feel very seamless. Even the hardcore rap chorus is unique and unlike anything I've heard in hip hop this year. And that is amazing because Yellow Wolf has always claimed to be doing something novel and different um, compared to his counterparts, his contemporaries in hip hop, but I've never really heard it much, or at least in the past couple albums. But with this song in particular, I feel like he does uh, have some truth to that statement. So yeah, for a good portion of this album, I feel like Yellow Wolf is pushing himself out of a comfort zone. Uh, he, he's tended to fall back upon country rap. For a lot of uh, songs, they just feel like they can be formulaic. Um, but I think of another track on Ghetto Cowboy, like So Long. Uh, this is a song that uh, brings in some influences of Kanye West. It sounds very much like uh, 808s and Heartbreak, and we have that meeting this country rap style that Yellow Wolf has uh, definitely dominated, and it's just an interesting blend of sounds. To add a bit more to the conversation about influences on this album, I hear a bit of Lil Peep on the song You and Me. Uh, we have that ringing guitar tones, very emo rap inspired. Also a very catchy chorus, and I don't think I've heard many Yellow Wolf songs that have stuck in my head as much as I'm getting out of this album here. Track after track, this album stands tall it is a great listen. I didn't really have many expectations uh, going into this record too. Um, another song I do like on here is called Opie Taylor. We have a bit of this like Old Spice sounding whistle from those commercials. But definitely the song does more to grow upon that as well. We have some harmonies with the na-na-nas and the, the shouted OP OP. It really adds to the whistles and doesn't make them stand on their own and feel a bit clumsy in the mix. So it's just 
great to have all these different sounds coming together as a harmony. Now going back to what I was saying about the ambition on this album, stepping out of a comfort zone, even by the seventh installment of the Box Chevy series of songs, Yellow Wolf proves to be evolving with electronic sounds of guitars and synthesizers. Luckily, Michael doesn't abandon his old fan base while he is continuing to evolve. I feel like you can still get an appreciation out of the turntable scratching and the country rock interludes that he has on tracks like Still Ride and, and A Message from DJ Paul. Now, there are still a couple of spots on this record that do have a small dip in quality, but not nearly as rocky as a ride it was on Trunk Music 3. The worst song I'd say that we get on this album is called Lightning. It kind of ruins the, the momentum that we had with this streak of six good songs to start the album. Uh, the singing is a little hit or miss, although it has grown on me. And then there might be a close runner up for poor singing on the cut, keep on rolling. Uh, but that's not due to Yellow Wolf's lack of vocal talent. It's more because of the ugly vocal effects that muddy the mix. And it's funny that I say that because I think I'd rather hear Michael's bare and unfiltered vocals on this track, even though I prefaced this video by saying that he should sing as little as possible. Maybe my logic is flawed. But yeah, other than those two dips in qualities, there is a middle of the road track on here entitled Renegades, which is flat out underwhelming more than anything else. It's definitely not offensive. To close out this album though, I think the title track legitimizes this artistic adventure and growth from Yellow Wolf, even six albums deep into his career. The track Ghetto Cowboy has flourishes of piano, acoustic guitar, and strings in the outro. It really does tie together everything on this album instrumentally, as all of these were featured on the album at one point or another. The refrain on the final track does feel a little reminiscent of Here I Am, uh, which can be a bit of a letdown, but Yellow Wolf, he did his best to stretch out his musical ideas, not only on this song, but for the entire project. He took his ideas to their end. He challenged himself creatively to throw in elements of electronica, he evolved as an artist, and he sung better on this record than what I can think of his past few. With the exception of a couple flaws in production, this really is a strong release and bounce back from Trunk Music 3. It's not quite as great as love story, but I would still say it's one of my favorite releases from Yellow Wolf yet, and it definitely deserves a great deal of applause and praise. I am feeling an 8 out of 10. There's the review of the new Yellow Wolf record. Make sure you sound off down below in the comments. Let me know what you think of this music. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new in town. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a rockin' day.